So we're going to use an example to demonstrate how you can use and and or in your searching. So let's take our earlier example of lanternfish. If I put that in alone, I get 185 results. However, I'm pretty sure that's not all the literature that's out there on lanternfish. When I was doing research earlier, I discovered that a lot of the literature has lantern as one word and fish in another. And you can see that that brings up 95 document results. However, this search is probably not bringing up those occasions where lantern fish are treated as one word. So I might want to turn that into a phrase and try to incorporate both concepts into my search. The way I might like to do this is by turning lanternfish into a phrase using OR in capital letters and then lanternfish all one word. What this is asking the system to do is to look for any article that contains the phrase lanternfish or alternatively uses the word lanternfish. Let's see if we get some more results. Immediately that's a big improvement. 246 results. Another tip if you are working with a species would be to perhaps use the Latin name for the family or the species. This can easily be discovered via a quick Google search. And I can add this again just by using OR. And that's dramatically increased my search results. However, perhaps I am looking at lanternfish, but maybe in the context of habitat. If I go to this plus I can add an additional row and I can choose and and I'm looking for habitat. So by doing this I'm instructing Scopus that whatever it brings back can use the word lanternfish as a phrase or as a single word or refer to myctophidae Alongside that, it must contain the concept of habitat. And you can see that's limited the results. So try to use and and or in your searches in order to expand the amount of relevant material you retrieve.